What's good? What's good? What's going on, everybody? This is your man Lucky. I'm back with another one, man. I hope everybody's doing well. Listen, guys, I'm going to get straight into it, all right? Purpose over everything. I'm going to say it again. Purpose over everything. Look, guys, Um, I'm sure many of uh, y'all can understand what I'm saying at this point in time, right? If you're a man who has ever been in a long-term relationship or, you know, been married, you currently married, your relationship is not working out how you want it to work out. Things are not going how you want it to go, you know? Um, if you've been in a relationship in the past and the relationship didn't work out, you know, a lot of times, guys, we start to have regrets, right? We, we, we start to have maybe resentment is a better word right we start to have resentment because a lot of times man as men in relationships man we really sacrifice we sacrifice our goals our dreams and our aspirations for what we think or for what we've been told is the american dream right the american dream is you know you go to school um get an education get married buy a house have kids and you know get a dog all that all that kind of stuff right and a lot of times, man, we put aside our goals, dreams, and our aspirations because we think that's the American dream, right? We find that woman, uh, we marry her, we buy the house, we have the kids, we get the dog, and we do all of that. And then when it doesn't work out the way you think it was going to work out, right? You're seeing how, I'm just going to say things are not working out how you thought they were going to work out. Then what happens, guys, is you start to have regrets, or you start to have resentment, you know? You start to feel some type of way because it's like, yo, hold up, I put everything I wanted to do to the side, you know, to live this life right here. And when it's all said and done, guys, right? When your breakup is final or, you know, you move out when the divorce is final and, you know, you paying alimony or you paying child support or just whatever your case may be, right? You look, you, you start to look back at, well, you look at where you are right now, right? You look at your current situation. You jammed up, man, financially, right? I mean, and at the end of the day, you're not happy. Listen, the one thing, one thing that'll make you happy in life or one thing that will fulfill your happiness in life is when you're chasing those goals, them dreams, them, them aspirations, when you're on your purpose, See, guys, what a lot of people don't understand is that happiness comes from within. Happiness is internal. It's not an external thing. We confuse happiness for pleasure. Man, what happens is when we get into these relationships, what we're doing is we're replacing our happiness for our pleasure. See, happiness is internal and it's longstanding. Happiness lasts a long time. When you're chasing your goals, your dreams, and, and your aspirations, you on your purpose. It makes you happy from internal, from inside, okay? Pleasures typically are external. They're short-term. So what happens, man, we're, we're, we're feeding into our pleasures, but we're thinking that those pleasures are making us happy. The only time we realize that those pleasures are not making us happy is when we're no longer getting those pleasures, and we still don't realize that we replaced our happiness with those pleasures. Because what happens? You're in a relationship and things are not going well. She's treating you all kind of type of way or whatever. Y'all just bumping heads. I'm not going to put it all on her. I'm just saying, in general, the relationship is not working out. What's the first thing people say? You don't make me happy. I'm not happy anymore. Blah, blah, blah. Everything is happy, happy, happy. I'm not happy. But really what it is, is you probably was never happy, but you was getting your pleasures satisfied guys when you chase your goals your dreams and your aspirations guys when you are on your purpose i'm telling you you got to stay on your purpose and never come off there are many men right now right now who are sitting in situations to where yo if i would have just stayed focused on what i wanted to do in life i wouldn't be here right now but again we bought into that american dream we bought into that dream finding a good woman getting that house having kids and all that and when it doesn't work out like that what are you left with you're not happy and you're not even getting pleasure a lot of guys are stay in a relationship man as long as they're getting that pleasure it may not be the best pleasure but it's something it's enough pleasure to get you to the next time that you get a little bit of pleasure 
that's what a lot of people are doing. They're just going from pleasurable moment to pleasurable moment. And they're just hoping that the pleasure comes often because the pleasure doesn't last long. As soon as you get that pleasure, man, it then wore off. Now you're looking for the next fix. A lot of times, guys, we're not getting that next fix for a long time. Or that next fix is never as good as it was years ago. So your level of pleasure keeps declining. It gets lower and lower and lower and less and less and less as time goes on. You hear people saying, man, a lot of people are not happy in marriage, man. But this is why a lot of people aren't happy, period, because they didn't chase their goals, their dreams and their aspirations. They weren't on their purpose. They gave up the happiness. They gave up the long term happiness for short term pleasure. The only way you're going to feel somewhat fulfilled by these pleasures is you have to keep getting them that pleasure over and over and over and over and over and has to keep coming it has to keep coming it has to keep coming when you're no longer getting that pleasure like you're supposed to now you're going to sit back and be like man i'm not happy how many times have you heard man a woman comes to you and say you don't make me happy anymore man happiness is internal it's internal it comes from the inside you can't make somebody happy they can't make you happy they can give you pleasure But they can't make you happy. Guys, you got to stay on your purpose. I'm telling you, because when everything is said and done, when all the smoke clears and everything's gone, everything that you thought you had, that you was going to have for a long time, everything really that you thought you was going to have forever, what you thought you was going to have until death do you part. It's not there no more. And what are you left with? Don't ever put anything over your purpose, guys. I'm telling you. Things change. People change. What are you left with? When you give up, man, when you give up your purpose, right? When you give up your happiness, when you give up your purpose to chase pleasure, or you put pleasure above your purpose, what happens when you stop getting that pleasure? See, man, when it comes to your purpose, man, you got to understand, man, it's all about the journey when it comes to your purpose, man. It's all about that, what what, what is in you, that drives you. To go after it, that purpose is what's in you. It's what drives you. Look, guys, I'm not going to spend too much time on this, man. I just want to say this, man. Purpose over everything, man. It's what makes you you. There's so many guys out here that get broken. Why? Because they didn't chase their goals, their dreams, their aspirations. They didn't stay on their purpose. They gave up their purpose for the pleasure. And when the pleasure isn't there anymore, it hurts. I'm not saying, man, that there's never going to be a place in your life for a woman. I'm not going to say that. But man, I'm telling you, until you reach your goals, your dreams, your aspirations, until you've reached the point to where you're satisfied with all that you've done in regards to your purpose, then and only then, when you have no more chase in you for that purpose, and you sitting back and relaxing, chilling, because you're satisfied. And then you want to settle down or whatever, it is what it is. But until you get on your grind and you chase that purpose, I'm telling you, man, don't ever put anything before your purpose. Because when that pleasure runs out, you're going to be one unhappy camper. Look, guys, I'll catch y'all on the next one.